that is no ordinary coin. In fact, you can only see it through a character encrypted address. I'm sorry, what? That's right, I'm talking about a Bitcoin, currently worth a little over 37,000 US dollars Holy sh due to the changing value. Taking you through the cryptocurrency world and all it has to offer and how this whole process works. Ooh. Ah. You yourself might learn a little more about how Bitcoin works with some tips and news if you have not already. Hello everyone, welcome back to Population Bitcoin. Thanks for taking some time out of your day to listen to the podcast. Right now, Bitcoin is worth over 54,000 US dollars. For today's episode, we're going to be diving a little deeper into the history of Bitcoin and what makes the cryptocurrency so unique. On October 31st, 2008, the cryptocurrency is still unknown who created it, rather a group of people calling it the Satoshi Nakamoto. Nakamoto posted a message on a cryptography mailing list titled Bitcoin P2P eCash Paper. And it was a link to a white paper called Bitcoin, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. Both are still available online. The concepts of Bitcoin were laid out by Nakamoto as a decentralized digital currency. Being decentralized means that there is no single administrator, but rather a public ledger of transactions that anyone can store on their computer. The provided information from money.usnews.com. The History of Bitcoin, author Corrine Hicks on September 1st, 2020. Accessed by Perry on March 23rd, 2021. It was not until May 22nd, 2010 until Bitcoin made an economic transaction of a Florida man to negotiate two $25 pizzas from Papa John's for 10,000 Bitcoins. I really hope those pizzas were extremely good for the Florida man's sake. Bitcoin has been going strong for over 12 years now and continues to do so. On March 13th, the cryptocurrency hit a new high of 61,788 US dollars. What makes Bitcoin so unique is that it's not backed by the government, nor does Bitcoin have a central bank. It's not regulated, but the U.S. made sure that the Bitcoin does qualify as a taxable property. Economic growth measurements that typically influence the value of currency do not apply to Bitcoin. The people and corporations own and hold them. If you ever wanted to get a Bitcoin, you would have to A. Buy or exchange, B. Accept Bitcoin for a good or service, or C. Mining for Bitcoins. To sum up mining Bitcoin, Mining consists of a process involving the complex machinery of creating a new Bitcoin by solving a computational puzzle. By solving the computational puzzle, the miner can then make the Bitcoin payment network trustworthy and secure by verifying its transaction information. Some important factors that determine the price of a Bitcoin are the supply of Bitcoins and the market's demand for it, as well as a number of competing cryptocurrencies. Looking into the future of Bitcoin, there are 21 million total Bitcoins to ever be obtained through buying, exchanging, and mining through the blockchains. Once they're all mined, that's it. No one can ever mine them. Then it turns into exchanging and buying. Right now, there are over 18 million Bitcoins that have been obtained, so we got a way to go before they're all ever mined. Chances are high, but once all Bitcoins are mined, or it turns out that it's too high to support the mining when the turnout is too low, that's when Bitcoin will see even bigger numbers. According to the Global Wealth Report, there are 18.6 million millionaires in the U.S. alone. If Bitcoin were to hit a million per se, a good chance that not every millionaire in the U.S. could have a Bitcoin due to the whole world wanting in on the Bitcoin as it's almost legal everywhere and has a giant global financial impact. Thank you for listening to Population Bitcoin with Nick. And remember, buy, sell, or save Bitcoin is always changing in the cryptocurrency world.